Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? Adrian Boisel here. Today I have an exciting video about monitors. You guys have loved my past monitor videos and some of my gadget videos. Today is gonna be no different, but I'm actually gonna take it up a notch. And thanks to our friends at BenQ, they have hooked us up with not just one designer monitor, but two designer monitors. And I went ahead and bought this ER Gear or ER Gear dual monitor stand off of Amazon. So we're gonna unbox this stuff today. I'm gonna give you the first look, the first peek at what these designer monitors are all about. I'm gonna set up the dual monitor stand. I'm gonna set up the monitors themselves on the dual monitor stand. This is gonna be uh, a little bit of inspiration here from people like Matthew and Cena and Peter McKinnon and some of the other YouTubers that are out there that have incredibly beautiful desk setups. I wanted to do the same thing and I wanted to have beautiful monitors and there's no more beautiful monitor than these BenQ. So without all being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video and we're gonna get this stuff set up, unboxed, and I'll kind of give you a sneak peek of everything that's included. All right, so the first thing is getting this dual monitor stand set up. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Thankfully, I got some instructions. These are the dual monitor arms. Here's the post. These are the mounting plates. There's one, there's two. And this is the mounting bracket that's gonna go onto the desk. Okay, so this is gonna be mounted to the bottom, I think on one side. That's a heavy duty plate right there. Yeah, there is a tool in here, thank God. All right, so the first thing it wants me to do is mount these two together. All right, so that's phase one. Yeah, I just wanna make sure it's nice and... So then this just comes on here. All right. All right, so I got the bracket set up. This thing's pretty freaking cool. Now I have these mounting plates that I'm gonna hook up to the back of these monitors, but first we gotta, we actually gotta unbox the BenQ monitors and take our first look at them. Oh man, these things are no joke. They're heavy. And the box at least, get away from myself. There we go. Woohoo! Look at that. So individual individual calibration report. I'm gonna take out this piece first. So this looks like some sort of little cover or bezel for the monitor. Probably goes on the back side there. Probably hides the cords. Okay, you have a looks like USB, or this is actually I think the mini port. So we're probably gonna need that. That's a pretty neat looking cord there. This one right here, this looks like the stock base. So here's the base for the BenQ. We're actually not gonna end up using this because we're gonna mount this to here. Sorry, this is a USB. And then here's the HDMI. And then this looks like this is the power cord. So quick start guide. Then here is that hotkey puck. Now let's take out the monitor itself. All right. There she is. How about that? Beautiful, this thing is pretty heavy. Wow. This thing, as you can tell, is really large. We're gonna go ahead and hook this up and you can see here, there's a pretty nice back plate that we're gonna be able to hook up right to it. We'll take those screws out, replace them with our new screws and we'll get this thing all set up, and get it rolling. All right, so I'm using this these spacers on here because there's an inset here on the back of these BenQ monitors. So if you just try to put it in there, it won't mount to it because there's just a little lip. So with this, I'm just gonna put the spacer on the back here like I did with these top ones, push this through, and then I'm gonna screw these right in. And it just gives you that extra little gap that you need to be able to slip the dual mount monitor right onto it. All right, so now I got that on there. You can see here, I got this nice little bracket. It's nice and strong and sturdy. I'm gonna go ahead and do now, I wanna show you how this works. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. It's on here. Boom, look at that. And I have this cranked down as tight as I can. At least I think I do. All right. All right, here's monitor number two. All right, so what we're gonna do is same thing we did last one. I'm gonna mount this bracket to the back of it. All right, so I got the second bracket on the back here. Time to slip this on, nice and easy. I'll go ahead and tighten this up. All right, so I got all these tightened up. Let me get some of this stuff cleared off the desk. Next piece we're gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my laptop, my keyboard, and my mouse. We're gonna hook this baby up. Monitor's got a few fingerprints on it. We'll clean that up after. 
But what I want to do real quick is I want to open up my laptop and finish the setup. So I'm going to, I connected, I went and got a Thunderbolt cord to HDMI here. I'm going to connect that right into the Thunderbolt. Then on this side, I had to get an HDMI and connect that into this monitor. So you have to use two external cords unless you buy a hub. This is something that's really important to uh, take into consideration. So you can see here now that I have this up. So what I want to do is I want to be able to close this laptop lid. So what you need to do if you're going to close the laptop lid is they call it the clamshell. You hook it up to power and then you're going to go to the battery here and then you're going to see power adapter. You're going to make sure that it's all the way on never. Okay, so I have that thing done there. Now that I have that all hooked up and that's set up to never, I'm gonna go ahead and close my laptop lid. It's gonna turn off for just a second, but it'll power right back up. I have this mouse and this keyboard, and there we go. You can see now, now that I have those closed, I got everything working. The displays match. I can go back and forth between the two, and you can see I have a ton of space now to work with, so I wanna pull up this document on this side, or if I wanna split windows, there's actually a cool program. I'll have to put the link in the description to a program where it lets you do split windows on your Apple. I can drag this baby over here. I can be working on this. I can open up Photoshop. I can pull this Photoshop file over to this side. And I just wanted to show you this whole thing set up. So we're gonna go ahead and clean these up. For this video, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. As you can see here, this dual monitor setup is beautiful. I use an external mouse and keyboard. It's beautiful. So these things look awesome. It takes up literally the whole width of my desk and more, about 54 inches, and I'm super stoked. Big shout out, big thanks to Ben Q for hooking it up with these monitors. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.